As we head into September, it's time to start talking about the 2024 fall program brochure for the Burlington Parks and Recreation Department. When we were thinking about doing our, our update show, we thought, what better place than Wildwood Park? Beautiful, beautiful park, lots of things to do, and uh, I thought it'd be great to bring out our part of our program team, our program coordinator, Jeff DeSalvo, and our assistant program coordinator, Andrew Mountain, uh, talk a little bit about the program brochure. We, we'll talk some uh, maintenance and uh, special events, and then some projects that we have going on, and we thought, with our brand new state-of-the-art sunshade over the playground, this would be a great opportunity um, to talk about all those things that take place in the fall. Today I brought with me uh, Jeff DeSalvo, our program coordinator, who's going to answer some questions about the fall brochure. And then we're going to bring in the assistant program coordinator, Andrew Mountain, to answer some questions as well. So, Jeff, welcome. That's good to be here. All right. So, fall brochure is out. It's online. Yep. Registration starts? Thursday, August 29th. 29th. All right. Excellent. So, we're gearing up for a big night of registrations. Yep. Tell us a little bit about the brochure. What is the fall brochure covering time frame and and things like that yeah so it uh most programs are starting september october running through um december most things will end by by christmas time um but a lot a lot of things are starting september early october um we have a series of events that are going to be going on september october november um even into december um you know fitness preschool youth senior programming, active adults. Um, so kind of we try to hit a little bit of everything for everyone and, uh, you know, uh, try to offer as much as we can. Excellent. So you, you mentioned events. We're heavy with special events the last quarter of the year. So tell me, you know, give me some of the highlights of the special events. What special events are you, are you uh, planning for September, October, November? So we kick it off um, in a couple weeks for Truck Day, which is on Sunday the 15th of September. Um, it's your classic touch a truck event, so companies from around DPW, um, all sorts of different vendors come. They bring their big trucks, their vehicles, whatever they have that they want to show off to the community. Kids get a chance to, you know, climb on them, climb in them, beep the horns, interact with them, get to, uh, you know, touch the trucks that they see driving around. Um, you know, on a daily basis. And then we have a few events in October. We have Trucktober, which is food trucks. Um, we'll have a band, some lawn games. Um, we do a power wheel derby with, with the, the younger audience there. And then, you know, Halloween time, we have uh, the Spooktacular, which will be up at Simons Park. We'll do a candy crane drop. Um, we'll have some inflatables, some, some spooky walks and stuff like that. Um, what else? And then we're heading into heading into uh, Thanksgiving time frame, and we have that turkey trot. Yep. So turkey trot, um, annual 5K that that runs from the high school, um, and then we have the tree lighting, which this year will be uh, on a Tuesday, uh, December 3rd. Awesome. So we are chock full of events, and I know there's some other smaller special events sprinkled in there as well, gingerbread house making things yep. like that, right? So uh, really loaded up with with special events um any any program i know we're going to talk with andrew in a few minutes but any program that you're really excited about something uh in the fall brochure um i mean for me i like i like the the programs that hit hit a very large audience and for that um the basketball program the recreation basketball program is something that we're trying to rebuild um get more uh participants involved so that'll be uh registration starts in the fall and then that kicks off uh, typically in November, um, and then it runs through. It does run through the winter, but we we um, we get things going in the fall. So um, I always like to see things grow like that. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. And of course, you mentioned Truck Day. That's coming up. Um, if you're planning, if you're interested in bringing a truck, check it out. Uh, we have information on our website. Mm -hmm. So make sure you pre-register if you are planning on bringing a vehicle or two um, from your company. Uh, would be uh, a help for us to have that information ahead of time yeah. and not and not the day of so all right anything you want to want to add before we bring in andrew no just uh go burlington 
All right. Thanks for joining us today, yeah. Jeff. Thanks again, Jeff, for joining us. Well, we wait for Andrew, our assistant program coordinator. I just figured we'd talk a little bit about uh, some of the projects our, our staff has coming up and, and what our maintenance staff will be working on uh, as we head into the fall. Um, as you can see behind me, we're at Wildwood Park in the new sunshade. Um, this has been a long time coming. Um, the playground here really sits out in the sun all, all day, so uh, things heat up and it it's not very playable at certain portions of the year. So we did go to town meeting a few years back and um, we're lucky enough to uh, get some money for a sunshade and then COVID hit and the prices for uh, went through the roof. They went up about 40%. So we waited them out in this past year. They were down enough. Uh, we were able to uh, fit in um, this sunshade. So it, it rises to about 18 feet at its peak off the off the center. Um, it's going to provide some shade for the playground here at Wildwood. So we're really excited to uh, have that up, and uh, it will come down in the winter. Just the the shade itself will come off. The uh, framework will stay, and um, you know, so it won't take the beating of the uh, the, the New England winters. But uh, while we're we're here at the park, we'll talk about uh, sports too. Uh, fall sports are are back underway from high school down to youth sports, and then um, some adult leagues as well. So our our uh, staff, our team has been out there uh, trying to get all the fields ready for uh, the start of those sports. High school takes priority, so their their fields get done first, and then we start working on the youth sports. So you'll see soccer fields being lined out on, on Wildwood, Rahanis, Mary Cummings, um, as well as Mitre. And then we have uh, field hockey uh, that'll take place. We have some recreation field hockey that'll take place on Brush or Varsity. Um, and then uh, we'll be getting right into our fall fertilization and some overseeding um, where our, our staff goes out and we fertilize all of the athletic fields. Uh, we do some aerating um, and then overseeding. And then there's a couple fields that we want to top dress to try to uh, give a nice even, you know, even out that playing surface and really, um, you know, pr build that surface for, uh, for the future. Irrigation's on and running. This time of year is great for grass growing. Um, cooler temperatures at night. Once those roots start to establish, they want to dive deep into the ground. Um, and then we've lost our seasonal summer staff that, that assists. So, um, you know, our, our uh, full-time team of nine is really busy out there trying to maintain the 298 acres of properties around town and uh, stay on top of it as best as possible. Um, we have some new equipment coming in. We'll have a new ball field groomer, a bobcat, a new uh, leaf sucking machine uh, for fall cleanups. So those will all be coming on in the next couple months um, and assisting um, with our projects. We'll be going around and, and uh, uh, replenishing uh, the playground fiber on, the, on all of the, in all of the playgrounds. The schools will get it first as, as they open this week, and then we'll go around to our, our playgrounds and do those as well. So um, things are constantly moving in the department, both sides, the program and the maintenance division. And we are, uh, you know, continuously uh, working on, uh, you know, maintaining the properties, but also making improvements. We have a couple fall projects that, that we'll be working on. Um, we're going to try to get the disc golf tee pads completed this fall. Um, that is a project we started last spring, uh, was on hold a little bit this summer. Um, but we will be picking those back up this fall. So uh, that redesign of the uh, disc golf course. Um, we have a couple infields that we'd like to that we'd like to uh, get uh, renovated and build them back up. Um, and then we have some fencing. Uh, you may recall we had a Warren article at town meeting for some uh, athletic field renovation and improvements. Um, we have some benching and benches and some fencing that we will be uh, having installed at a couple of our ball fields as we make those improvements going forward. And then, of course, we have professional development. Um, you know, we, we try to get our staff out to professional development opportunities that will help improve our, our ways of doing things and improve their knowledge in, in how uh, maintenance operations work um, and maybe some improvements that we could make. So we're excited about that. And uh, I know uh, 
our assistant program coordinator, Andrew Mountain, is waiting in the wings, and uh, we'll get him in here, and we'll talk some more uh, programming before we wrap things up for this fall 2024 Parks and Recreation Department update. All right, back here at Wildwood Park with assistant program coordinator, Andrew Mountain. How's it going, Andrew? It's going great. I'm excited to be here. Excellent. We're excited, too. What do you think of the new sunshade? I think it's beautiful. I mean... It gives the opportunity for everyone to use the playground all times of the day, and it's going to keep kids safe and nice and cool. That's right. Excellent. Just what we were going for. So, Andrew, this is this is going to be your first fall with us. Uh, you started last February. Um, so you got your hands dirty on the uh, fall brochure. Oh, yeah. Tell us, tell us some of the new programs that, that are in the brochure that we have to look forward to. Well, with the fall brochure, looking back at what you guys did last year, we have a lot of... Um, programs that are coming back for a second year and so that's exciting um, but at the same time we have a lot of different programs coming up in youth stem we have uh, swifty sciences which i think that's going to be a big one for all you taylor swift fans out there so we're going to merge uh, taylor swift music and some science uh, experiments so keep on the look for that uh, at the same time we have dungeons and dragons happening uh, with our instructor david murray and i think we're going to end up doing a pop-up event uh, midway through the uh, season so keep your eyes out for that um, and then luckily we're able to get uh, Grandmaster, International Grandmaster um, to do our chess programs. And so we have chess queens coming up, uh, chess beginners and chess advance. So those are a little sneak peek of some of the yep. programs we're going to be doing. Excellent. Good, well-rounded, well-rounded uh, section of, of programming. And we are very fortunate to have one of the uh, top female chess yep. grand champions uh teaching for us so we're very very fortunate there um, I know we talked with Jeff about some special events um, and stuff and we've talked about some new programs and some returning favorites how about therapeutic recreation what what do we have uh, on the docket for therapeutic recreation yeah so we have uh, rec together so we have the evenings out and then the spectacular Saturday is happening so keep on lookout for that that gives everyone an opportunity to um, get involved in our recreation programs and it's exciting and so out and about's happening um, and then we have the therapeutic horseback riding that you can do out of uh, Andover one of the farms in Andover so uh, a lot of stuff happening in uh, TR right yeah and this year um, Emma our therapeutic recreation specialist Emma Jones now Emma Andrews uh, usually sends out a separate um, flyer uh, for uh, therapeutic rec programs, but this year everything is in the brochure, so um, you will find all of that information in our brochure. Um, so we talked about this will be your first uh, foray into fall with uh, Burlington Parks and Recreation. Looking through the brochure and special events and everything, what, what are you excited about? Is there anything that jumps out that says, oh, I can't wait for this program or this event? So when I first started it, uh, March, I think, I found out we do a spooktacular event. I'm a big Halloween guy. Um, I'm excited to get a little bit of creative uh, input on that. I'm a big Halloween guy, so being able to do that, um, I think the turkey trots can be awesome, get everyone involved in the 5K. Um, I think Trucktober's going to be really cool, um, get food trucks on the common. And so, I mean, we, I think Jeff said it, we have a lot of events happening uh, this fall, and I'm just excited to be a part of it, and it's going to be exciting. Excellent. So, before we wrap things up here at Wildwood, just one more question for yeah. you. How'd your summer go? First summer here in Burlington. First summer was amazing. Uh, I felt like it couldn't have gone any smoother. We had a great summer staff, uh, a lot of new staff coming and also uh, returning staff, and everyone gave it their best. And, um, yeah, we're, we couldn't have been happier with how the summer went. All right. Thank you, Andrew. So, we'll be back in just a second to sign off here at Wildwood Park. And uh, looking forward to an exciting fall season, uh, special events, programs, the whole nine yards. Uh, we're we're uh, really pumped for the for the fall. Yeah. Signing off from Wildwood Park. This is Brendan Egan, Director of Parks and Recreation. I'm Jeff DeSalvo, Program Coordinator, and Andrew Mountain, Assistant Program Coordinator. And that's a wrap from Wildwood Park in the fall 2024. Parks and Recreation Department update. We'll see you in the winter.